There are two types of mistakes. There are good mistakes. Mistakes that mean you're making progress because you're challenging yourself. And then there are bad mistakes, which are mostly mental. And sometimes you don't even realize these mistakes until it's too late. Want to know a huge language learning mistake that often people make that tortures them down the line? Keep watching. My name is Jeremy Ginsberg, aka the Viet Nomad. And I help people just like you learn new languages. In high school, I studied French. Now, French is a beautiful language, it's a romantic language. C'est la langue d'amour. Huh. And here in Vietnam, I have a good friend who really wants to learn French. And every time I meet her, she always asks me, Hey, how do you say this in French? How do you say goodbye in French? And I tell her words, but then when I meet her again, she never remembers them. One day, I finally asked her, I said, Hey, why, why do you want to learn French? And she had no response. And then she started to get embarrassed. See, when you're learning a new language, you have to think about why you're doing it. If you don't have a powerful why, then it's going to hold you back. Maybe you want to travel to France. Maybe you want to talk to your neighbor who speaks French. Or maybe you just want to learn a romantic language. But you've got to have a reason. Without a reason, you can get started for a short amount of time. But if people keep asking you along the way why you're learning the language and you have no good reason, then they may start to challenge why you're learning this language and not learning another language. Or why you're learning a language instead of learning how to play guitar or learning how to juggle. See, there's a million things you can be doing with your free time. And if you don't have a powerful why, then eventually you're going to start to doubt yourself and ask, geez, why am I doing this? It'd be similar if I were to go just try to run 10 miles today for no reason. I'd probably get tired after the first five miles. Sorry, miles? I mean five minutes. After running for 10 minutes, I'd already be thinking about eating a chocolate muffin or a piece of cheesecake. And then I'd look down at my phone to see how much longer I have. And I'd see I have a text from my friend asking me if I want to go get ice cream with him. You know, I'm sweaty, I'm tired, and I'm hungry. But I text him back and I say, hey, listen, man, I, sorry, I can't get ice cream. I'm running 10 miles. And he'll say, what? What are you doing? It's Sunday. Why are you running for 10 miles? You only need 30 minutes of exercise anyways. Come on, let's go get ice cream. And if I don't have a reason to tell him why I'm running 10 miles, I'll be easily persuaded to stop after 30 minutes and go eat ice cream. Without a reason why, there's no way I'm going to finish the 10th mile. And when I get really tired and things get challenging, if I don't know why I'm doing it, then I'm much more likely to quit. But say I'm training for a marathon, then everything changes. Then I have the motivation and a real reason why I'm running 10 miles. I can tell my friend, hey, look, man, I've got a marathon to train for. I can't be eating ice cream. I got to get this done. I got to do this, man. I'm running a marathon. But if I say, hey man, I'm just trying to run 10 miles because I think it sounds cool to do that, <laughs> then I'm not going to be able to do it. Even if I say, hey man, I've got to go run 10 miles so then I can make a video for my YouTube channel, at least that's a reason why. If you're trying to learn a language and you don't have a reason why, then you're just not going to last very long. So ask yourself, why are you learning a new language rather than learning how to dance or how to juggle? Hey! Who do you want to talk to? Where do you want to travel to? Why are you learning Spanish and not French or Swahili? Knowing this why is going to help you stay motivated and keep you from getting distracted. So now I'm kind of curious. Let me know why you're learning what language you're learning. Leave it in the comments. I'll tell you right now, I'm learning Vietnamese because I'm currently living in Vietnam and I want to be Viet famous. No, that's not a real word. I just made it up. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Maybe you want to travel the French. Maybe... The French. <laughs> French. It's a great country.
It's a great country. It's a great country. It's a great country.